Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura and today we are going to try to get back on track and it's going to be my floss tube number 43. I had to look and it is October 13th. Woo -ha. We're already like in the middle of October and it is like 9 30 in the morning because I have to go to work today of course got my heavy sweater on it's only going to get into like it said 70 so we'll see what happens but the sun's out and the wind is not blowing so yay so I know I just had a floss tube on Thursday but I've worked on a few things and I just thought I'd get back on track and doing this every Tuesday. So, um, I worked on a few things while it was in between. I don't know. I hate getting off track. I, I, I'm a, a schedule girl, so to speak. I mean, I, I like it when things go the same. So, the first thing that I worked on was Bittersweet Trio by Waxing Moon. And I'm working on the squirrel guy here. Still haven't made any decisions. I did just a little bit on it, so I'm not going to take it out of the, the thing. And the only thing I got done oops, on this, sorry about the string, but... It is what it is. And this material is so stiff. It's not bad stiff. It, it'll it get broke down. The top part's getting broke down because I keep putting it into a hoop. But the only thing I did was the little green leaves. Because, you know, it was just too much to think about. And there's a color. I was going to start on the squirrel. That's what it where it went. I was going to start on the squirrel and I need a another thread like I told you they're in the ones that I got there was a few that I didn't get the colors for so so yeah so I just opted to do leaves and then I was done so yeah but I like it, it, it it's cute and I really want to do the squirrel so yeah it, it's kind of holding my brain back I to put that over there then I worked on Ye Old Crow, and that is by, I have to think, Heart and Hand. Everybody knows it. I'll put it so that he's straight. He's so cute. I just like it. We have these great big crows, I guess, that on my way to town, there's like a back road, and that's what I'm taking. There's a bunch of aspens and other trees but it all goes along the the river it's the Arkansas River it's not very wide but that's where all the snow melt comes down but anyway there's always these big blackbirds huge blackbirds I mean I swear they're the size of a rooster so I call them crows so yeah. so I worked on this and you'll just have to deal with the thread but and it's on such a small piece of material it kind of drives me crazy because I'm used to having like yards of material everywhere but this is what I got done like I said I worked down to um, try to get to this crow and I've almost got him done we're coming down to the body and then his feathers hang on hang on hang on see his feathers hang out the back so I'm trying to hold both at the same time so we're about halfway done with him so to speak but that's all I got done on that not a lot of progress on on anything of course it's only been what four or five days it hadn't been a week see so really Molly's over here digging herself a hole because I laid a blanket over there and she's not real happy with me so the other thing, I worked a little bit on Christmas Quaker, not too much, and it's another one that's got 100 miles of 
material. But it, oh, whoa. I'm trying, trying to get it. Isn't it pretty? It is just so pretty. And I love it because it's a Quaker and it's got all kinds of doodads. It's kind of like, like, consider the lilies on steroids because they're so close together. I just love it. Maybe it looks close together because they're all in like one or two colors. I don't know. So I still haven't gotten that part done, but I worked on it for a little bit trying to get that all to come out. But there's just some things I can see and some things I can't see. So, yay. Hopefully you can see that. This is going to be a kind of a short floss tube. Put all that back together in its appropriate bag. I love these bags. Did I tell you I love these bags? Yeah. They're so durable because I'm a rough girl. I, 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 I'm I not a... I, I can't do nice things sometimes. It's just, see? See how big that is? It's huge. I was watching, uh, I think it's Creativity with Gedge. Amy. Oh my god. She made this bag. Too bad we couldn't, like, talk her into making these to sell. I don't know that she'd want to go through that that many times. Whoops, I left the thread out for the crow. Special. Um, but she made a bag that you unsnap it and opens up like a an accordion file. And it holds ten projects. It, it's just amazing. Just amazing. She can make a fortune. And I better put that thread. Because then I wonder, where did that thread go? Not like we don't have any 310, but, you know. It's that variegated stuff that I don't want to have to... Or make an order one three one two three stitch. Um, let's see. I worked on pandemic, long dog sampler. Oh, I'm not telling you what these are. Crap. Um, Yale Crow is on. This tag still here. Sixteen count country French golden needle. Ada, and it's the same color that I'm using for um, linen and threads. It's difficult to remember which project you're using the same fabric for. Linen and threads 2020. And Bittersweet Trio is on... Crap. Of course, I didn't write it on the outside. Um, crud. This is that one from Winchlet and I think it's vintage country mocha I don't know I'd have to go back and look I can't remember but it's it's a little bit different it's about the same color as the crow one but this is the same fabric that I'm using for Anna Ullman 1873 so I love it and it'll get soft sooner or later I don't know what happened to its sticker but I think it's Vintage Country Mocha from uh, Zweiger. Yeah. Okay, now that we got that all settled. Pandemic is on 16 count Regency from Picture This Plus, And I'm using thread number 34. It's that lovely manja. You can't tell. It looks red in here. Maybe if I get it closer. Come on, focus. Yeah. It, it's a magenta color. It's like a dark magenta, and it's on a big old honking piece of fabric. Hang on. We almost had it folded. I just fold them in so that, heaven knows, see, I told you I'm kind of a rowdy girl, so I don't want anything to happen to it before I get it done and in a frame, which, you know, will be like a lifetime. I'll be in the nursing home, and I'll be 90 years old. I finally finished pandemic. Yeah, that'll be me. So, I got the crow done, or the, the, what do you call it, peacock, got beyond, I don't know if she hears somebody, please, knock it off, Molly says hi, you're stressing me out, dog, oh, well, God, drop the coffee, but anyway, 
this is all I've worked on and then I got a little bit more of this edge done so it's it's coming up there and like I said there's just a little bit more up above him and that'll be the top of that page so then I've got to come back here and handle all this so it'll be fun work on it just a little bit at a time because I'm paranoid of having to frog out in a way I'm paranoid because this is unless I'm paying attention I have to be totally awake to do it but that's the way that goes will you be quiet please talking here she's looking at me like but mom so what else did I work on um I worked a little bit on my Christmas list from Silver Creek Samplers I'm trying to hold it I think it's such a cool pattern I just love it it it's it's modern -ish. I'm, I'm just not a modern girl I'm, I like old-fashioned things but I like this pattern now, if I can just figure out, it's on 16 count country French latte, which is by Winchell. It, it's the lightest one of the country line. So, and I wanted it to be kind of an off white, but not dark. So, oh crap, my arms are not that long. All right, so this is all I've gotten done, but I've almost come across here. There's something else on this side, like the car and the the car with the tree. So we're like at about the end of that, and then I have to make the car and the tree for that whole thing. So it's it's going to be a little bit bigger, maybe out to there ish and then I'll have that side done so I worked a little bit on it and tried to finish the letters oh I couldn't figure out what that said it says family visits I didn't get to the S I gave up for the day you can only do something so long then let's see what else did I work on and I'm using the coffer on this I don't think I've substituted unless it was like that 310 or 311. I don't think it's that one. But it could be. I also worked. Whoa. Get out of there. Now she's got her head stuck out the window. Not the window, but out the curtain. Worked on New Normal from Long Dog Samplers. Oh, yeah. This is going to take a hot moment. I can't get into this, guys. I don't know. What the hell? I, I've done the. It's got like a double two lines a space and two lines before you get to the pattern so I don't know just too much going on so I'll get to it but not happening it is on 16 count Dang it. this is um, 16 count country French Cafe Mocha by Winchlet, and I'm using Thread Color 825. So it's a little bit lighter than 820. It's kind of a, a dark royal blue ish. Doesn't help. I mean, it's okay, but it, it's just not helping me get into this. I don't know. So. That's all we got done. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. I can't. No. I don't know what it is. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up. And, you know, when I'm bored out of my mind in the middle of winter. And I don't know. Oops, crap. Now i got to put that in there. Hang on. Because I don't want to lose that. I want to have to print that again. I like long dog. But some days they're just a little long in the tooth. As they say. All right, and then I worked on two or three days. I tried this, so we're still hacking at it. I showed this. Well, no, I didn't show this yesterday, but I've been fighting this for like, oh, seems like a week. Hang on. 
This is, I know, if I just have all this crap organized before I made a video, it'd be great. Well, I woke up and my phone was dead, so that was the first thing that threw me off track. Christmas Garden from Blackbird Designs. Yay! I know. So, I'm, I'm trying to handle this little monster, and I about got it tamed. It's on 16 count, country French, Cafe Mocha, of course, from Winchlet. And I'm using, am I, no, I made up my own colors for this. There's only four colors. So, I made up my own colors. But, yeah, I about got it What? I finally got this even, it's off by one stitch. Okay, let me explain. One stitch. So, the one stitch... Just one moment. There'll be a pause. We'll get it so that we can see what we're doing and not have to hang on to a ton of crap. Okay. So, I, we'll just let that hang. That's fine. Okay. So, I found out it was off by one stitch. So, in order to get that, like, back on track, this has to be frogged out. This has to be frogged out. That all had to be frogged out. I'm done. I just made this even and we're going on because I'm just not doing all that other crap again. No, I don't know. So hopefully it'll come out in the wash. And it looks like it's crooked, but it's not. Let me see if I can do it that way. Oh my gosh, my arm. So yeah, I finally got it even and we're just going to go with the flow. Because there isn't... It's not going to make a whole hell of a lot of difference, all right? Because, yeah, we're almost, it's not that big. So this is like, this is the other half of the next page. So this next page, that's it. It doesn't go any further. So I've got as much as I have here to do over here. So it's that wide. So just double how wide it is right now basically. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. We're just going to go on and pretend we don't know any different. What I will do, though, before I hit that edge is put the, um, the border in and, you know, kind of adjust everything from there because that's what we're doing. I've, yeah, it should be in a timeout, but I can't let it go. You know, it just, all right. One last thing I worked on. Well, I worked on two things, but of the, the previous things, this is, seems to be my favorite thing to do lately. This is, um, ink circles. Jeez, I went blank. Ink circles, elemental dragons, earth. I love this. I love this. I love this. Yes, I do. Yeah. I love it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I choked on my own spit. Isn't that great? I love this because I changed the fabric. I'm working on 14 count Meyer from Picture This Plus. And as you can see, it's kind of a, a mottled green. It's several shades of green, and then where the dark spots are, it's kind of a dark, dark green. It goes all the way to a dark green, almost a black. So I worked on this and worked on this and worked on this, and I do a few lines, and I just keep going. Sorry, it's it's kind of wrinkly. I didn't take it out, but I am. Do I have it upside down? Where are the dragons? It's, it goes like this. I'm sorry. So I'm almost to the top. I think I've got like 10, 15 rows. Get my hand out of there so you can actually see it. But isn't that gorgeous? So it's going to be half as big, you know, as it is right now. Coming across. So it's not very big either. It's just, I have to do it line for line. You don't want to know. Because I'm too stupid to get it so that I could just show that part. Or so that part or so. can't do it got to do it line for line so it's taken a hot moment but 
since I, I don't know when I restarted that. Maybe September, August? I don't know. But I like working on it because I can just pick it up, do a couple lines, do a couple lines, sit back, do nothing, do a couple lines. Yeah, because it go, it's it's easy going, and I can keep track, and I just put a dot at the end of each line. That way I know I've done that one, you know. Because the pattern, it's only got one symbol. Yeah. So, the last thing that I worked on and did, I started this. This is Sweet Summer Come Again by Blackbird Designs. I love this. Just absolutely loved it. 16 count Regency by Picture with This Plus. And I'm using the called for except, and it's just a, you know, cardboardy thing. But it's cute. I liked it. I didn't care what I had to pay for it. I wanted it. So, but it's nice and easy to see. I've used all the called for. I still have to get one more thread in this. It's 167 Dirt Road. It is the uh, Weeks Dye Works. It has Weeks Dye Works, but it also gives you the DMC equivalent on it. And I exchanged 3011 for 3012. Because I had it. I had three of them. We're going with it. So, yeah. And so, what did I get done? Oh, this girl was on fire. On fire today. Or this week. Because, yeah, let me get it out of its little has one of these easy, these are nice and sturdy and rigid things. I think I got these at Walmart. And it has, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a lip. So when you put that in it, the the top part, whoops, sits on the lip. And everything, and it holds the material really nice and it fits. It's nice and thick. And it's a, I have to see, a six inch six inch hoop that I got from Walmart. I think it was like four bucks. And I think it might be a Susan Bates. I, I don't know on that. So, yeah. I went a little insane. Hang on. Got to get it folded just right. I got threads going in every direction. Now, I haven't changed. I told you I wanted to change out the little white flowers. But, I got all this done guys I got three strawberries done and part of the the main stain and yeah where did oh, here it is so I got the main stem and I'm working down this side here so I still have lots of green to put in but it's not too bad and I have to get that other color goes into this so yeah it's not a big deal but yeah I, I couldn't believe I got that much done on it so, yeah, it's coming along great. I got three out of the five. No, out of the three out of seven. So I got four more strawberries to do. So, but they're coming along okay. So we'll see how it goes. I like the colors. I like everything about that. So, yeah, it, it's been a short and a long week. I'm telling you. Hang on, got to put everything back where it belongs or, you know, heaven forbid I leave anything sitting there. I'm just going to set that there because the other one done. So, other than that, now I work Tuesday, Wednesday, and I don't know what my weekend looks like. So, because of this other girl that had to rearrange her thing because of last weekend she did take that day off that's why I had to work on Saturday so I don't know if I'm still up, up for Saturday if they changed it to that weekend or not I have no idea but it's been messed up for a while so yeah so I have no plans I mean special plans I'm not ordering anything until I see where I'm at for the month and uh, there's always thread I swear just hanging fire, always. But I was surprised that I got... One, two, three, four, five, six. So I worked on seven projects in five days. Because that one day, I, would, I did three things at once. So I don't know how much stitching I'll get done before 
I got to work today. I work today and tomorrow, 2, two to 10. So when I get done, I'm pretty much done for the day. I don't know. Sometimes I pick up things. If it's something like Elemental Dragons, you know, where you just got to go back and forth. I did work a little bit on the Circus of the Hearts. But, and I started to do a video yesterday. I couldn't figure out where the heck I was at. And I just didn't want to deal. So, I didn't want to show you because I put in like five stitches. And I know they're all wrong. So... I have to frog that little tiny bit out and try to figure out where I'm at because I'm a little lost. So I guess I could start at the top and work my way down on this one heart, but I don't know. It was just giving me fits yesterday and I didn't want to mess with it. So I'll be fine once I get on my level and I have to use my line keeper for that as well because it's just not. So, guys, I know that was kind of short and sweet, but that's all I've got for this week. I know it, it was weird and strange, and we're just going to kind of get back on track and go from there. Thank you, guys. I appreciate all your comments and all you watching my videos. It's great. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We'll see you next time. Stay safe. Keep stitching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to ring the bell, and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a good rest of your Tuesday and a good rest of your week, and we'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, for a stitch along. Yay! Bye-bye.